Welcome to SolidCam Professor. I'm Sydney, your SolidCam Professor, and in this session I'll be showing you the new option in SolidCam 2009 of using an STL file created from our up updated stock in order to use that for a new part in a different position. And in a moment I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. If we take a look at this part on our screen, this part, as you'll see, has to have turning operations and milling operations. Now, I happen to be in a machine shop where they don't have a mill turn machine. They only have a turning machine and they have a milling machine. So I'd like to first turn this part and then later start a new part in SolidCam for milling, but the stock material, I would like to have it as what was left over from my turning. Let's just go through the operation itself, what I've done here. I'll show you my simulation. And if I run my solid verify simulation, you'll see that the part is turned exactly the way I want it. And this is what I want to have as my stock material for my milling operation. What I do now is simply go into cam part, right click, and we have the option now called save updated stock to up to STL. Simply click on it, save it to where I want to, and our, and our stock has now been saved. What I'll do now is I'll close my SolidCam part, and I'll go into SolidWorks and start my part, load my part up, and start SolidCam in the milling operation. And I'll save it wherever I want to have it saved. I'll create my home position by going into the coordinate system, define, and if for, just for argument's sake, I'll simply click on this surface over here. That's my new home position. And I'll simply say, OK. Now, when I go to create my stock material, what I do is as follows. I code, go to Stock Define, and I choose now from the option over here, the option of STL file. I go to Define now, and I can browse for the updated stock material, and I saved it over here, and I'll simply load that as my stock material, and I'll say Open. If I do Show, you'll see now that that is my stock material. I can do show on model and you'll see that it fits exactly on the part itself. So my stock model now is the exact uh, material that was left over in a different part altogether and this way I can use this as my stock material to continue working on my part itself. I'll simply save this and just to show this to you in, in action I'll just do a simple operation right now. Let's do a simple profile operation and just do let's say a profile on this slot itself as you see over here. I'll choose a tool that will be three millimeters in diameter. I'll add a new tool of three millimeters. The levels, my profile depth will be up until that floor. And my technology, I'll use just finish for now. And my link will be of a tangent of, let's say, four millimeters. And the lead out will be the same thing. Save and calculate. Now when I do my simulation using my solid verify simulation, you'll see my stock material is now exactly what my uh, stock was left over from my turning operation. And the simulation is shown exactly on that stock. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.